And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Liao Ceratops, which was a request from Victrix via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. It was a Ceratopsian that lived in the early Cretaceous in what is now Liaoning Province, China, in the Yixian Formation. I should have known that Liao Ceratops was from Liaoning, but for some reason I did not put that together. Oh, <laughs> uh. well now you know. It was small, it walked on two legs. It may have looked somewhat similar to Cetacosaurus, but with a short frill on its head. It's been described as hair-sized, to give you an idea of how small. Oh, okay. I was going to say, Cetacosaurus with a short frill, I feel like Cetacosaurus already has a short frill, but if it's the size of a rabbit, then that's a different story. Yes. It's another level of small. I mean, it's estimated to be about 1.6 feet or 50 centimeters long and weigh 4.4 pounds or 2 kilograms and be about 1 foot tall or 0.3 meters. That's tiny. Mm-hmm. The holotype skull was about six inches or 154 millimeters long, but its skull is similar in size to Cetacosaurus. Only skulls of Liao Ceratops have been found so far. No horns, so we don't think it has horns. It did have a small neck frill. It also had a small horn that faced sideways under each of its eyes, which were small and light, so they may have been for display. So when you say no horns, you mean... Not the typical ceratopsian horns out of the face. The brow horns, yeah. <laughs> These are like jugal horns or something on the sides. Yeah. There is also a pitted surface texture on the edges of the frill that show that there were jaw muscles that went behind the cheek and attached to the frill, which was thick. We really did tie this all nicely together, didn't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job, us. <laughs> Leo Ceratops ate plants possibly ginkgo, horsetails, or conifers, which have been found nearby. It probably sliced and sheared its food instead of ground it. It probably hid or ran away when it needed to defend itself because it was small and it didn't really have any way to defend itself. I guess that depends what it's defending itself against. True. Mammals might be able to take. Mm. <laughs> Leo ceratops is an early relative of ceratopsids. It's part of the branch Neoceratopsia, which led to ceratopsians like Triceratops. Another different branch includes Cetacosaurus, so it's not that closely related. And Leal ceratops helps show the early evolution of ceratopsians and that this split happened at least by the early Cretaceous about 130 million years ago. Mm. It also helps show that the large ceratopsians like Triceratops evolved from small ancestors and that ceratopsians got some of their distinct features early and more quickly than scientists previously thought. Liao Ceratops was named in 2002 by Xu Xing and others. The type species is Liao Ceratops yanzagoensis. The genus name means Liaoning horn face. And the species name refers to the town Yanzigo. The holotype includes a nearly complete subadult skull. And other skulls have been found, including a juvenile skull and an even younger partial skull and jaw from a smaller individual. But that smaller individual, there was no skull roof or brain case or left cheek region, which could be due to a probably small predator eating its brain. Oh. Yeah. Well, I assume it was dead before it its brain got eaten, but I guess we don't know. We don't hear much about brains getting eaten. That's intense. Yes, I think it's because the skull roof is missing. Hmm. It's thought that a small predator got that particular Laoceratops because, for example, when small owls like screech owls go after prey, they, quote, dismember the carcass small bite by small bite, end quote. That's compared to great horned owls that swallow mice whole. This is according to Yo Hai Lu and others. One of the juvenile skulls of Liao Ceratops found is about half as long as the holotype. Oh, jeez. So small. I was wondering if this holotype might have been a juvenile. Subadult. So I guess it could have gotten bigger, but... Maybe not that much bigger. Mm. There was a study from earlier this year, 2023, of the inside of the skull that found that Liao Ceratops had a relatively large olfactory bulb, so it probably had a good sense of smell, and it, there were other details that suggest that it had a stable gaze and kept its head nearly horizontal. They also found that it had relatively short cochlear ducts, so it could probably hear relatively high frequencies. And they found evidence suggesting that adult Liaoceratops was agile on two legs and moved similarly to an adult Cetacosaurus. 
A study of the teeth of Liaoceratops in 2018 found that it replaced teeth with progressively larger teeth as it grew to keep up with its growing jaws. Oh man, I'm so jealous of teeth and dinosaurs. That'd be so handy. It wasn't just dinosaurs that did that. I recently learned mammoths also. Must be nice. But I digress. <laughs> well, they're all, they're extinct now. So <laughs> That's true. Who gets the last laugh? <laughs> <laughs> These mammals. <laughs> Anyway, they also found evidence of the beginnings of dental batteries in Liaoceratops, or at least traits that led to the evolution of dental batteries. Liaoceratops lived in a wet, humid climate with dry seasons and an average yearly temperature of 50 degrees Fahrenheit, about 10 degrees Celsius. Other animals that lived around the same time and place as Liaoceratops include insects and many dinosaurs, such as Tachysaurus, Troodontids like May, which is the sleeping one, Sinovenador, and Dalliansaurus, also the Dromaeosaur, Grassoraptor, the Oviraptorosaur, Incisivosaurus, the Ornithomimosaur, Shenjosaurus, as well as mammals, amphibians, and fish, and flowering plants have been found in the same area. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left. <laughs> 